Yay. So hi, I'm Pamela Madsen, and this is my colleague um, all the way from Maui. Oh, yum. Oh, yum. Tim Weaver. I say it is blue skies and coconut trees and mangoes. Okay, just, okay. just stop it. <laughs> okay, so I know what it's like at Tim's house, and it's, it is mango trees and heaven, and, um, and I love visiting, and I'm hoping that we'll be back there soon. Yes. And um, Tim was with us at our at our retreat, the last retreat that we've held um, since COVID nineteen um, in Maui, which was just extraordinary. And then I got to stay and and hang with with Tim and um, a few other friends. And during that time, we started to talk about you know how do we bring back to the body. How do we bring back to the body virtual? How do we bring this experience of somatic um, sex education, somatic experiencing, embodiment, literally, literally like through the glass, right? Through this, into your home. Into your home. Like, is that even, isn't that even like a possibility? Like, is that something that we could, that we could do? Um, so we started to, we started this conversation about how to do that, and then we created um, this program called Every Day um, with Back to the Body. And I wanted to read something, because we've really been pushing the edges, haven't we, Tim? Oh my goodness, yes. Just because it's been such a time of, my friend has a great saying. He said, blessed are the flexible, for they shall never be bent out of shape. <laughs> we be exceedingly flexible. Exceedingly <laughs> flexible, absolutely. <laughs> and you know, um, our colleague um, Court Box wrote this post, and I'm only going to take pieces of it. Um, and it's about working with someone virtually, somatically, virtually through the glass. And through the glass is really, um, I feel like he coined that through the glass, and it's such a sexy way of speaking about virtual, isn't it? Hmm, I love no, it. Like it, through the glass. Yeah, and I always think about through the looking glass, we're like going down into the into those places inside ourselves that are deep and dark and- Right, I'm, I'm sort of getting aroused already. I'm like way too easy. So he wrote, um, it was it, the, the, pers the uh, post was called virtual. And he wrote, even through the glass, can you feel the steadiness of my breath at the nape of your neck? The warmth of my body, even through the glass, can you feel my fingernails as it traces the outline of your shape? Can you feel enough in the largeness of my arms to let go, to breathe easy. Um, if just for this moment, you know, even through the glass, like, can I feel you, Tim, holding me? Is that possible even through the glass? Can I feel safe in your gaze and can I let go even through the glass? You know, that's the inquiry. You know, can you feel my hands curious, exploring you? Um, even through the glass, can you hear the resonance of my voice um, as I whisper in your ear, right? And I love it because there's this sense, Pamela, that when we're in retreat and we're hands-on as body workers, there's this intimacy and depth and safety, safety that's created. Mm -hmm. in the, experience when you're on the table and your practitioner is there and creating this and you can really drop in, you know, and we love that. We want women to experience that. We want everybody to experience that. We want that. everyone to experience That's that, children. right. <laughs> this feeling of like, even through the glass that you're with me. And what the beautiful thing about this is so much of what we do is to help people to experience these things in their bodies. And then we want to send you out in the world to get that experience with people in your, in your social situation, in your community and area. And 
So one of the most beautiful things about Through the Glass is even though we are having this safe, connected experience, you're doing the touch on your body. And you're the one bringing your body the pleasure. And it is so incredibly empowering to know that your pleasure is in your hands. And that's what we're teaching and that's what we're training is, is that we, we have people with these retreats to wake them up and wake their bodies up after sometimes years or lifetimes of slumber. But then they have to take that home. And that's right. where every day back to the body is such a big right. It's like after you give sleeping, it. after you give Sleeping Beauty her first red ball, right? Then, then what happens? And you know, and there's also what we're finding out is there is also like an excitement in the vulnerability of working virtually, for the practitioners and for the clients, and that we are working in a triadic model. So there is a female coach like me that would also be working with that woman with you. And so we want to give people like a little bit of a taste of like, what would that be like? You know, is there a sense of excitement in working virtually with a somatic practitioner? Um, what are the things, the tools that people are going to be learning? You know, yes, we have a curriculum. Yes, there are, there's play shops. There's all kinds of things. Um, but we, next week, we're going to be having a three-hour symposium with the entire team that's coming together to... Um, I love how you call it a symposium. I'm calling it a circus. The, you're <laughs> talking it the circus. circus. <laughs> right. the poor, there's going to be all these rings where people can come in and out. And um, with, they can get a taste of all the different ways that we can work virtually. And just really exciting because this wouldn't have happened without the pandemic. And now this is something that we're going to keep doing year round. But can you kind of give people who are watching um, a, a bit of a taste of what that might be like to even have a um, even have a few minutes of a somatic session? So if you and I were together, right, and we are I would, together, I would I'm I'm. And, and, you know, and we are together. Um, yes, um, I'm glad. And so we're just going to pretend that we've been, you know, that this is not like our first time working together and it's actually not. Um, so we'll pretend that this is like our second and third session and, and I'm a woman who's been in the community of every day and I've been coaching with Pamela, me, or one of the other female sexologists and doing all the program. And now I'm showing up like for my third session and what would happen what would happen then is my curious and you know what's hard is that there are people who are writing um comments and i don't know if they're questions yeah, for us I'm, I'm and i can't tell confused. no i can't tell they're just giving us hot happy faces so how would so so guys if you want to write questions i can't tell we're doing this through zoom um, so when this concludes, I'll go back and Tim will go back and we'll answer your questions. Uh, yeah. So please write your questions. Yeah, yeah. We'll but I actually, I actually can't um, see them right now unless I go on my phone and I can't. So it's too hard. So Tim so would say focus play here. A bit, Pamela? Yeah, we can play a little bit. So guys, do you want us to play a little bit? So this will be really simple just to give you a little bit of an idea of how um, I'm going to take my glasses off, um, you know, and I'm going to like shake my hair a little bit and just sort of like get back into just connecting with you, Tim, All right. um, so for a moment. I know that the last couple of weeks we've had some embodiment sessions and one of the nice things about this platform, you know, with the, with the glass is, is that you get some choice around consent and your body, which is what we do in retreats too. You get to say what you want and what you don't want. So today, maybe we were going to sort of move into a little bit of touch based embodiment exercises. So I'm going to give you the option. Would you like to have your screen on or off? Would you like to me to be able to see you or would you like to just. So, ooh, so it's a lot more vulnerable, right? To yeah. have you see me. Absolutely. And, and so I'm going to, I'm going to like choose in. So it's really kind of just the like third wall to you out there. It's amazing. Like how quickly I warm up and how quickly I'm present 
to Tim and that even through the glass, I'm feeling all of his presence and um, my body's already getting warm because it's exciting, you know? And so um, we'll keep the screen on because there are people who are curious, but, but, but people could have the screen off if they wanted. Absolutely. It creates this beautiful layer of safety. And so it, we have this ongoing consent that we're dealing with at the beginning of these sessions, like screen on, screen off. Do you, would you like to touch your body today? Or would you like to do you know, some breath exercises? We can do all kinds of things. And speaking of sort of touching our body today, how would you feel about a little bit of self-touch, Pamela? That would be great, as long as we keep it Facebook friendly. Oh, because so otherwise they're going to turn us off. Okay. <laughs> oh, and look at the smile. Yay. <laughs> so what I'd love to try is maybe both of us just start with our hands sort of right at the top of our breasts. Everyone, you know, you could be doing this with us. Yeah, you can play along. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. maybe just a little bit of sort of gentle pressure and rubbing in circles. And then begin, Pamela to take breaths into your hands, feeling the chest rise and fall. Each breath, your breaths are coming up to meet your hands. And in the exhale, you can feel your shoulders round. And now, ah. just your hands to slide down on your sides. And just bringing them then to your inner thighs. And laying your hands on your inner thighs in a really nice, solid, and grounded way. So when you begin to breathe down into your hand, mm. really direct that breath deep down into your hand. Ah. What are you noticing? What do you notice down there? Ah. Well, I, I notice that I have like an arch in my back. Like my back is like primed. It's like I'm like I'm starting to like really kind of like arch heart and forward. and and like heart forward feelings. I have um, warmth in my lower regions. Um, again, feeling very aware that we are on Facebook Live. Absolutely. And so heat is rising in my body. Um, winky winky. Um, <laughs> so like you know there there is warmth and. I feel um, a feeling of aliveness. And it's interesting to me as always, like how quickly like my body just sort of like through breath and movement and knowing that I'm being watched, like knowing that Tell you me have me. Being watched. What is well, being watched? Like? Being watched with sexy, first of all. You know, I have a, yeah. an attractive man looking at me. Um, there is also this feeling of presence, like you're caring and you're noticing my experience and, um, and having attention on my body and right. having, can, having guidance about how to write. Say that again. I can see your breath when you, right. when you were, I could see your breath beginning to quicken with your hands on yeah. your chest. And that's why mm -hmm. I said, suggested that slide. Slide, slide down. <laughs> I slid down and that was fun you know and it's amazing what happens like I'm like I'm just continuing on without you Tim yeah that's okay <laughs> it's Keep like moving. so like now my hands are organically just sort of wanting to move up and down my shape and and I'm feeling more in my body Feeling more in my body now, and um, and this was just like a minute. We've just been doing right. this for just a minute or two, and um, and just gives people just an idea. And of course, this can get a lot sexier. Oh yes. And you know, and we're going to be talking about you know how sexy it can get within sexological body work guidelines, where you still remain clothed. Yep. And it's still one-way action. So it retreats its one-way touch. And here it's like one-way one direction, right? You know, Pamela, what, okay, so I've been doing sessions like this now with some of the Back to the Body clients for a couple mm -hmm. of months. And one of the things that's been most amazing for me and has given me like the giggly joy feeling that I saw mm -hmm. you 
like, yay, <laughs> I'm so excited feeling, is, is that this, through the screen, what it also requires is our voice. Yeah. And so much of what we do is to try to help women find their voice to be able, the language, you've been using this term, Pamela, you want to talk about the language? Right Around liber liberating language, yes. And, and we're you know, liberating our language and how difficult that is because, you know, we, 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 when we're talking as the practitioners, because we spend a lot of time as a team developing these programs, that we do a lot non-verbally, not at necessarily at back to the body, but um, you know, in our lives, like when you were dating, you would um, a man or at least a teenager <laughs> in a movie theater. You know, he would never. The, the young man would never say to me, "Pamela, I am feeling like I would like to put my arm around your shoulders. Would you like me to do that?" I mean, that was never done. The guy would put his arm around your shoulder, and you'd either wiggle away or you would go, "Oh yes," <laughs> and you would lean into him. And there was all this nonverbal, and so we've become a non. We're trained in nonverbal, which makes consent difficult, which makes asking for what you want difficult. Yes, that's the big like. How do we get the pleasure we want unless we have a like? Oh, you know what? That feels really good. But let me tell you, a little to the right is going to send me over the edge. Right. How often do we get to say that when we're in when we're in sexual? inner like uh, experiences with people. You can't, mm -hmm. I mean, you're there, you're all of a sudden, you're at the edge of your pleasure and they take their hand away. Right. <laughs> you know, you know, and you can see it on the face, but how liberated are we to say, put your hand back right now, keep doing right. that. And right. One of the ways we can train it. And we can train that communication skills here as well obviously through the glass and through these virtual sessions and through communication and the women are paired with a practitioner the entire time so they build the relationship with the male practitioner and with the female safe port sex coach and so that's really um, beautiful so we're liberating language we're um, having embodiment experiences we're using breath sound movement dance um, meditation, self-touch, fantasy, fantasy um, vulva mapping is happening. All kinds of things are happening um, through the glass. And so we just wanted to give you a little teaser yep. um, for what's oh, happening. Can one more thing too, oh, you can say more than I one more thing. To, because one of the things that I'm noticing most about this medium, about the through the glass, is one of the works we get to do most is this is a really safe place to explore trauma also. Yes, please and thank you. It's so good to, you're in your own home space and you're in your safe like chair or bed or yoga room or wherever you're like uh, taking these calls and you're doing this to yourself alone. And there's somebody there in support of you. So when the feelings come up, oftentimes in hands-on sessions, you don't want to, take time away from pleasure to move into those maybe more uncomfortable places this is an amazing place to be able to start to feel into and somatically not through a bunch of jibber jabber but somatically work out some of the sexual traumas that we're all holding in our bodies men women children trans everybody holds a lot of these in our bodies and this I've been noticing that the women I've been working with are having an incredibly safe container to express that. And then the beautiful thing about the triadic model and Pamela, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a women led, women run, women owned business. Once they're done with the male practitioners, women go into a community of supportive women. And so there's a place after the trauma moves in the body and they're shaking. And thank God we're moving the, the trauma through pleasure and not pain. People can then go and get this incredibly grounded, rooted and supportive sisterhood that it's like the soft, cuddly blanket that you get after you've been in the hurricane or something like exactly. that. Exactly, and we've <laughs> we've recreated that in a, um, a in a private portal nest for the women of every day who are doing this work, and they and they come there um, 
after their sessions with either with the practitioners or with their their female safe port um, and with their play shop work and um, sharing all of the things that they're doing. And it's really been quite beautiful. And on June 25th at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, And Pamela, it looked like you froze up a little bit. You still there, hon? You froze up a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to leave and come back. I'll be right back. Hi everyone, I'm back. We just are having a little bit of technical difficulty, but I wanted to keep talking with you about this amazing back to the body everyday experience because through the glass, it's been we're really- back. All right, we're back. We are, we're back and happy. And Pamela, what I'm talking about right now, love, yeah. is how, much of the Zoom work that I've been exposed to during this pandemic is this very chatty, we're talking a lot, there's a bunch of faces on the screen. Um, and what's different about this experience is we're not gonna talk all that much. Often. No, we're gonna be we're doing gonna things. <laughs> we're gonna do, we're gonna ask you sometimes like to stand up and move. You're gonna be in your body, in your space. It's not just gonna be sitting. You're gonna be moving, you're gonna be breathing. And, the and singing, we're gonna have singing too. Voice, <laughs> and the yeah. beautiful thing about it is it's, Sometimes to me, Pamela, it feels silly to get up and do it in front of someone. But the difference that I'm noticing is, is, is that with the screen, there's, it's almost like I can be different characters and like explore different roles and ways of being in the world that I can never do when I'm just around friends and family, things like mm -hmm, this. Mm -hmm, There's a mm -hmm. flip with it that is different. And I don't know exactly why, but I know that I can be more, I can try on new things to see if they're authentic on the screen, behind the glass, kind of more easily than I can in- In face-to-face, in, in, -face, in person, you know. in real time. <laughs> well, you know, again, this is, this is an experiment. Like we've been in this really large um, experiment on how to bring the somatics, how to bring somatic experience, not yap, 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 the way we're doing right now, um, but how to bring the somatic experience, how to bring arousal up, how to bring desire and libido up, how to liberate our language, how to do all these things um, in the space that we have, which is right now virtual. And so I'm excited. Mm -hmm. And um, I hope that you all will join us Please. and we're going to end this um, with a wiggle and a shake. <laughs> with Yay. a wiggle and a shake. And hope that you come because we're going to be doing everything. We're going to be doing fantasy. We are going to be doing a full demo session. We're wow. going to be doing liberate your language. We're going to be doing um, trauma work. We're going to be doing all kinds of things um, during our during um, Passport to Pleasure. So I hope we got you interested in this very little tiny itty bitty taste of what it's all about. And I'm going to end the recording. And, um, and Tim and I are both. You know the language. We're loving you from, from here. here. Yeah, so, loving you from here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to stop. And the we can't wait to see you either.
Yeah, right. <laughs> and I'm going to stop the recording, stop recording. And yes.